Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saika and today we're continuing the legendary Iron Man playthrough. We're still trying to liberate the first uh, region. You can see I haven't started doing the Skulljack project. Uh, we're still trying to expand. We are now assaulting a regional HQ, which is the liber whole liberation shtick, which will then hopefully also get us more supplies. And yeah, today we're up for Operation Wailing Whisper. 15 enemies, we need to protect our resistance assets. And I can only imagine that that means the Chosen is going to show up. But fear not, we do have a team of eight individuals. Matter of fact, the only eight that were available at the moment uh, in order to go in and slay the beast, so to speak. So. It's really uh, equipping the squads, the ultramarines, with the help of a couple of just random soldiers that were available, are going to go into set mission and will hopefully slay the beast. I would want to open another chapter, but the uh, the amount of uh, operatives that we're getting is just not enough at the moment. I will continue to buy everything that we can from the black market, plus I will try my very best to do recruitments, but it's a bit low at the moment. Alright, landed. We need to prepare for a massive onslaught. Resistance emphasis on recruiting in this region has led to Advance Reprisal Operation. A resistance team on the recruiting mission has been discovered. We must escort them to the evac point. Firebrand is flying fast and low with limited fuel, so we will extract the rebel first. She will return to pick up our troops after making the extraction. Failure to rescue at least one resistance member will prevent us from conducting uh, recruiting in this region for some time. Okay. Well, Confirmed. we do have one concealed unit, might as well make use of it. We've got an enemy squad here. Good to go. Good. I want to trigger right away because there is no point in kind of delaying the inevitable. Good, move up. Hopefully this removes some cover. No, but it deals some damage. That's okay as well. Can't really hit them. There we go. That's the guy I was looking for. Cover removal. This is for you. Bubble lobs in a grenade. And cover is finally removed. Then scout goes down. No problem, boss. Sam finishes the next guy. Venom moves up and just for completeness. Hmm, 
that's a bad spot to place a grenade to begin with. I'm going. Oh, come on. Let's move already. Fifty percent. Can't be that difficult to hit a fifty percent shot, really. BDM moves up. We do have too many people. Finally. Andos moves up. We got a shotgun. And Arclight moves to here. So we got a couple of overwatches since uh, reinforcements are coming in. I assume they will be coming in every single turn from now on. We've got the chosen right where we want. What? It's time to strike. This does not look like the chosen to me. Alright, that on the other hand very, very, very much looks like the Chosen to me. Hates Templars. Hmm. Didn't we just kill her on a mission? Okay. Copy that. Haven't spotted her out. I'm trusting you here. Still haven't spotted her out. That is very, very strange. Okay, cool. Well, now we know where she's uh, uh, where she's um, hiding herself, okay, which means we want to move as far away as possible. Great. Part of me was like, when will we, when will we finally trigger an additional pack? It's been a while. Good. Removing her armor. Alright, someone had... Uh, cool under pressure. No, here, hold a target. That's it. On the other hand, I think I rather would want to do cy uh, cyclic fire. Let's go. Good hit. Good hit. Not a lot of damage, unfortunately, grazing shot. Zirke moves to here. Hmm. 
Mind merge with our bubble here. Some extra hit points will be needed. Come on. One. Two. And she is in dire straits. Good chance to just kill her. Okay, minimum damage, but still. She sure was not. Let's remove cover. On my way. Move up. Catch. That could be a kill. Very good. See, okay, moves up. Benjamin moves up. could charge in but I know there is another pack there uh, which would make this a very bad idea so instead let's just kill the viper flashbang for the other viper And our resistance operatives are moving a little bit closer. I would say we're just hunkering down. That way we're a very, un uh, a very uninteresting target. Reinforcements are soon going to come in. Hmm. Okay. I see how it is. We need to move up and gotta regulate a little bit. Fair enough. Let's remove cover. Opening that little door here. Can't see through that thing, so the cover, but I love you, XCOM. I love you. Seems doable. 
That's going to be an interesting fight. I hope it's worth it. Fire in the hole. Trying to put in some guaranteed damage. This time we also finally got rid of some cover. But as you can see, all of a sudden, haha, no more line of sight. Such is the way of XCOM. No problem, boss. Impressed yet? Running dry. Okay, I'll go. So we got potential overwatch if we are moving twice and I will do exactly that. DDM gets an overwatch here. Synapse moves in. Um, yeah, unfortunately, can't really hit anyone because we're not able to see them. I can flee shed kill them. Or we're just going to do this here. For some more um, disorientation. Racing shot. Fortifying ourselves. Let's just move all the way to there. Got another Viper here. Shinobi gets the aid protocol. It can't poison spit, it can't uh, tongue pull, tongue grab that is. And this will just increase the cover bonus. Overwatch for Sam. Overwatch here. And those overwatches as well. So we got four overwatches. The Sniper Viper. We will need to kill it. double move. This is now going to be the interesting part. Can we get it down? Well, 
this here would be one way of killing her next round we're going to see reinforcements up Let's do this. Move up further. Let's start hitting the Nacha. One of our main targets here. Sidewinder is down. Zierke moves up. I want to give him a promotion, so this is the safest kill he'll get. anywhere because we've destroyed the cover Absolutely. moves into de facto full cover Gets rid of the zombie. Kill Sinatra. To discover another pack. Hmm, what? That is not good. And that's putting it uh, mildly. Absolutely. But we'll need to deal with the other Viper there. up sidewinder gets marked and five damage that is fantastic I hope it's worth it. we're still in partial uh, we're still in partial cover thanks to the thick uh, smoke here Typically not a position that I would take, but since we do have smoke, we're good. Bring in the pain. And that'll help us against the newcomers. Moves up. Get rid of one of them for sure.
moves further up. Sam is moving in, overwatching. Good, time to get rid of some of the reinforcements. We have, I think, two or three overwatches, so we're not completely effed. The reinforcements are not a problem whatsoever. This was at a minus 50, so we're good. I'm all right. I see another pack here, right? Now nah, maybe that guy is just part of the other pack. Another flashbang here. Damn right. Oh, wow, we did not kill him. Moves up. Better close your eyes. Uh, not quite close enough to get this guy, but look, we're fast. Maybe this is going to kill. Okay. The SMG is great in doing exactly that. Okay, moving forward, flanking at the same time. burning so he's effectively taken out good next up we do have the chance to crowd control a little bit Kim. Yeah, but he's already gone, so no point in moving further. Free reload. I somehow got to remove some of uh, the cover, and I know exactly how we will do that. It's not a somehow, it is pure sheer explosive strength good that'll kill him 
And believe me, he so deserves it. No sustenance, no second chance, nothing. Okay, sure, sure, bro. That's it. Moves closer. Might as well get kill experience. Ah, oh, we could have Overwatch. Another Overwatch. BDM gets our eye protocol this time. I'm going. And we're moving closer. I'm on it. There is there's su such a thing as too many operatives on the field. Locked on. Let's finish him. Good, I think we're pretty much done here. You never know, but if I had to take a wild guess, we would be able to get out of here. Cover removal. Uh, the rest of uh, this mission worked so very well that I think we're okay. Since reinforcements are about to come in, what we're going to do is we're going to keep these guys around for one more round. I'm going. Seems doable. It's killing time. Overwatch. On Overwatch. Affirmative. Covering now. 
And ours. Okay, more reinforcements are coming in, that is not surprising, but we also do have a lot of overwatches, so... I was about to say, unless everybody misses, which I think they uh, tried to set out to do. <laughs> wow. First of all, great to see so many overwatches. Secondly, what what the hell was just happening? Did I get all of them? Oh no, here we go. I felt like there was uh, maybe someone missing. Okay, look. Uh, it's going to be interesting. Whatever you say. Grab that by. Would be cool to have a Mac. Yep, did not work. Which is really unfortunate. No, and I need to reload. Okay, well, never mind. Burning, which means the guy is dead. All right, I'll now back to my original point. Let's get the Mac. Which is down to one hit point. Since uh, the evac is up there, might as well bring everyone up here. On the move. Affirmative. Roger that. Running. So 
Sono pronto. Ready to go. Overwatch. Let's do this. Okay. Got to cover. Affirmative. Covering now. Anyone else with steady weapon? Back in. No, but a couple of reloads. Alright. They called in some friends. Look, for shits and giggles, why not? Let's do a bit of overwatch. The next turn we're just going to go out. Mission overall. Appreciate it. You can't handle me just in time. I think we're already uh, past the maximum experience that we can get. From a single uh, mission. As I mentioned it, they have kept the experience based on the maximum amount of enemies uh, that could appear in that mission. Reinforcements therefore from some point onwards do no longer provide kill experience so that means just standing here and farming reinforcements will do nothing other than reduce your willpower. Um, and risk that you're getting injured. Wow, we had a big fat team, 13, uh, 13 people, maybe even 14. That's quite a slog if so many uh, soldiers are um, coming in the same in the same formation. And the more soldiers you you have, the more important just movement speed becomes. Oftentimes, I found myself just double moving just to get back to the front line. Flashbang is good. That's not bad either. I like survival instincts a lot. And this here is fantastic. So these two are actually good. Flashbang isn't bad. Uh, as well, because you just get a f uh, get a free flashbang. So, duh, of course that's good. Cool, Andrew's got a promotion, which means he can learn something new. And Zirkim became a technical or technician. Cool. Got a lot of extra stuff. So where is Zirkim? There we go. Correct color coding, that's already good. That extra defense will help you to survive, congratulations. And he did well, so overall life is good. Life is very good. We're training like it's no man's business, so we're actually doing very, very well. So we could heal or we could continue recruiting here. There is no shame in 
No, nah, neither of that. Let's make contact. Got some extra stuff to do. Unfortunately, two days, seven hours is too little. That, on the other hand, is absolutely fantastic. 11 days. That's a mission that we can do. And we have plenty of uh, our squads available, or chapters, shall I say, as they are Space Marines. Tired, tired. Space Wolves are looking a little bit rugged up at the moment. What is um, with the Ultramarines? Hmm. Bond training, lightly wounded. Not great either. Let's start with uh, you guys. The tired uh, people can uh, get somewhere else. Ah, that's not... I mean, we could infiltrate for very, very long and then just do seven to nine enemies. I guess that would work. Let me check something really quick. Sam here could go on to a mission with uh, Zirkim and just get us. Oh, and here's an engineer. Hmm. Tough choice. I like the idea of being able to recruit an engineer. But having another, having the Reaper, that would be very helpful. Just do that, make contact. Okay, in the meantime, what I wanted to double check is the following. We have no Haven Advisors at the moment. Is that correct? I think that is correct, sir. Let's see. Which chapter can we put onto this mission? Shinobi, Grenadier, Gunner, effectively. Sam is, um, is with them. Let's do this here. Good, we take one. And... Sharpshooter, two more. And we're still good, I mean... We don't want to infiltrate for too long, so it's not going to be a massively large um, team. But four to five is always good, and this team here looks to me like it could handle themselves. Let me just uh, update their equipment. Okay, good enough. 
Uh, we just need to infiltrate and the Space Wolves will be fine. It's a team that has yeah, all of the bases covered. Maybe uh, no specialist, but that is not ne needed in every single mission. Four days. That's a good mission if we can pull it off. Reduce enemy strength. And we would get corpses. Plenty thereof. Let's double check if four days are enough with a boost. Four days seem to be very good. Let's not use the Imperial Fist, but essentially the Ultramarines. Can't use anyone that is tired or wounded. Four seems a bit light. Could go with another Psyker here. Is anything else happening anytime soon? 37 hours is too long. Could uh, cancel the bond training. Grandier sharpshooter. With that, we would definitely be able to do the, uh, the mission, and there are a lot of corpses in it, so all we would uh, be losing is two days uh, worth of training. I think that's fine. If you look at the new training, it uh, takes six days, so we did not even lose. Uh, mm -hmm two days we only lost a single day good ultramarines wait 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 one of them is also tired congratulations you just played yourself Six days tired. But on the other hand, that might have been the one person that is that was overall missing. Wait three hours until Matt is done with his training, I guess. But then we would be going in with dual dual psi operated on. It's not the worst. What I enjoy is the full salvage option here, and with a boost. Five people with a boost is only 20 enemies, quote-unquote, only. Hmm. Yeah, 
If we take a six one, that'll be up to 24 enemies, but we do have six people. I think that's easier and more corpses. Good. Matt here just found himself sonically trained and uh, ready to take on that challenge. Oh yeah, that's an intense skin. I like it. Okay, let's get ready to get everybody onto that mission. Not onto that one, but onto that one. Also reducing the strength is actually quite helpful for us in a way because we don't need to then deal with continuously increasing power levels. Let me figure that out. We're at 98%. Okay, we got ourselves to exactly 100% if we boost it. And the intel for full sweep is well worth it. I think overall that's a good trade. And we're looking for around mid 20 corpses plus a lot of XP that we could get. And reduction of enemy power, of course. Six soldiers are good. It's a bit uh, strange that the Ultramarines, uh, out of all of the chapters, are going in with two sonically active characters. The Psychers of the Ultramarines are strong. Anyways. This here could finally be another mission for us. The Blood Angels are on the way of getting that. That main infiltration takes so long, it's unbelievable. So, let me think. But Angels will not really get a high, well, a bit more infiltration uh, they will get. And that, in return, will reduce the chance for over uh, ward shots or initial reaction shots from Advent. That's a great mission. The problem is two days and four hours not happening this on the other hand is very much going to happen but it is going to happen the next time when we are playing for now that's the end of today's episode let's just check the strategy layer one last time proving grounds is coming soon guys so that would be a good then infirmary is hopefully coming soon training center currently barren and empty um, except that I am getting a lot of extra skills uh, for all of uh, the characters, which is good. But this is how a proper, efficient roster should look like. Not necessarily the wounded ones, but yeah, no one is perfect, can't perfect all of the missions. Uh, but the infiltration part, that's good. That is a very good. If you are just looking at the sheer amount of infiltration that we're doing at the same time, then you're, you're seeing training, more training. So everybody is doing something, which is exactly how it should be. We're reducing that a little bit. Okay, and Igor and Leo, are both of you tired? Leo is tiger uh, tired. And where's Igor? Down here, also tired. Okay, that's a perfect moment for you actually upgrade your bond 
because I think they fixed uh, the quote-unquote tiredness for Haven advisors. So if you put someone as a Haven advisor, they continue to stay tired for the du uh, duration so it doesn't count against it. But training, I think, still re uh, reduces the actual time when you are tired. So this year we'll remove tired almost completely and we'll get a nice little bond upgrade on top of it. That's good. Any combat tactic that I would want to get soon. So that's fine, but currently not needed. That is definitely not now. Well, I guess for liberation regions it is needed. That's not bad. That is good. And that is very good. But I will say it is not as important as the experience in that extra loot. So that's fine. Yeah, I think the rest of the money goes into magnetic uh, weapons. We have a very healthy amount of alloys, very, very healthy amount of valerium. So that is okay. Intel is still okay. Uh, 30 of which are going into another boost. So we're lately hemorrhaging quite a bit of intel and I'm trying to be more conservative to not always boost but you know how it is from time to time, right? Gotta spend the money. Good. That's it. Guys, thanks for watching. See you on the next episode, okay? Take care. Bye-bye.